Hey guys, welcome back to Juang Media. Today I have a very, very interesting video about this Cypress plugin, which is Cypress Grep. Why should we use this plugin? Well, basically sometimes you may be facing a situation where you want to execute a group of tests, right? Let's imagine that when uh, you're automating scripts, right? Uh, probably your manual team, the QA manual team has created a, a, a well, a kind of test cases um, and they have created uh, two different uh, suites one for full regression which is going to be testing the full functionality of your application but also you have another one for a smoke test which is uh well uh, well kind of less heavy a uh, suite where we're going to test just the happy paths or uh, some particular scenarios or some particular features, the most important ones, or I don't know, depends on your needs, right? But sometimes you need this kind of filtering option when you want to execute your script in your automation suite, all right? Let's imagine that um, you want to execute locally or using a CI CD application like Jenkins or Circle CI, I don't know. But uh, you want also uh, you want to specify that you only want to execute the smoke suite or the regression. You want to filter that. That's why Cypress Grep can help us over here. Um, this is a free library. You can just download the dependency. I'm gonna let this link in the description of this video if you wanna go ahead and download it. This can be integrated with TypeScript too, so it is fine and that's amazing because, well, there are other uh, libraries that doesn't work correctly with TypeScript, and that's good. Um, I'm gonna try to explain you step by step the different possibilities that we have. The first the thing that I wanna explain you is how to install this dependency. It's very quick and easy. You just have to come here, download the dependency, depending on the package that you use, right? The, the, depending on the... In this case, I have the node package model uh, installed in my computer. So yeah, I just have to come here to the terminal and install that uh, package using npm id um, well, cypress grep. And as you can see, I have already installed this dependency in my computer, so I don't need it anymore. <laughs> it is already here. And well, as you know, probably in the package.json file, you're going to take a look and we have a new dev dependency over here, which is cypress grep. Also, it has installed the dependency in the node modules, and that's pretty good. Now that you have this installed, we have to do another step. You have to come here in the Cypress folder, look for the support folder, and look also for the index.js. You need to require this library over here, which is Cypress Grep. This is a must. This is something that you have to do, okay? Then, when you have the support added over here, you have to go to the plugins folder and enter to the index.js file and use or actually enter these lines module.export it is going to be receiving the diff two different parameters over here over here which is on and config and then require this plugin with this particular path also send this config as uh, another parameter here that's uh, this is optional uh, it is not a must but it is going to help you to uh, have a kind of uh, locks in the in the well, in the different consoles that you use uh, to see what is happening with this because if you don't use this plugin over here you're not gonna have any kind of clue of, of what is executing you are gonna understand me in a few seconds okay once that you have done this well you have already integrated that in your project okay now what do you have to do in order to filter your test now in, in well using this basically you have two options um, if you come, if I come here to my integration folder and look for the uh, tax folder over here, all right, you can see that I have three different JS files. I have buttons over here, right? I have fixtures. I'm sorry. Let me just open them in order, all right? And I also have home subs, home sauce fixture that spec .js. I have two different ways to filter my scripts. The first one is using the, the, the describe name over here. As you can see, I have specified for the buttons spec, the regression keyword over here. But also there is another scenario where I can use a, a tag over here after the uh, define the describe name over here. We have two options and I'm gonna explain you how to do both 
uh, in a few seconds. So please watch the whole video because you are gonna learn a lot. Then, if I come here to the fixture data spec JS file, right, I have defined another keyword over here, which is sanity in the describe title name over here. Now, remember, button has regression, right, and also a tag name regression tag. And for the fixture spec, I have the word sanity and the tag sanity tag. All right. Now let's take a look at the last one where I've where I mix them. All right. As you can see here, I have the regression keyword and the sanity keyword. That's good, right? And also I have specified two different tags using an array of tags over here. Let's take a look at this detail. If you are only specifying one single tag, you just have to specify this string. However, see, if, if you are gonna specify more than one, you have to use, <clears throat> I'm sorry, you have to use the array syntax over here. Take that in consideration, please. Now, once you have this, um, now I can try to explain you how to filter them with the with the, the common line, right? So I'm gonna come here and open the terminal and I'm gonna start with the first command over here. Well, we have to do the MPX stuff as always, right? MPX Cypress run. Then we have to specify the spec folder that I wanna execute in case I don't want to execute the, the whole suite of Cypress under integration, right? In this case, I want to look for Cypress integration um, the folder tags in this case and all the JS files that I have inside of it just let me check if I'm recording because I don't want to record this anymore <laughs> I have uh, lost the, the last recording and and it makes me sad okay um, please subscribe if you are here it is gonna be a lot of support and help for me it actually motivates me to create more content for you for free and uh, well it, it, it is a lot of, of uh, help for me of course so let's go ahead and continue um, now that I have specified the Cypress run the spec that I want to execute which is all the specs files that I have inside of the tax folder now I want to filter by the name I'm gonna look for the describe name over here and I'm gonna look for the substring regression, okay? How I do that? Basically, you just have to enter another parameter here, which is environment. Environment is gonna help you to get this command, which is grep, all right? This is the, the main command that you are gonna have to know, grep, and then use the equal symbol and specify the uh, as a string the, the keyword that you want to find and in case it finds that particular keyword, it is gonna be executed. In this case, I'm gonna be looking for regression, okay? Now, if I execute this script, if you think, as I'm thinking, right? It should be only executing the buttons, fixtures should be skipped since it has sanity and there is no regression word inside, and also the home source fixture should be executed too because it has the regression word there. All right, let's take a look if it works or not. I hope that it works, <laughs> to be honest. Let me just take a, a, a drink a cup of coffee over here. Thank you very much. Right now, the bottom spec is being executed. That's that's good. And if if we take a look of the next execution, all right, there it is. That's the behavior that I want to show you. Let me just scroll up over here and show you what is happening. All right, as you can see, at the beginning of the execution, I am receiving this message. Cypress grep tests with regression in their names. It is going to be including all the all the describes that have their regression in that describe name. OK, once that I have defined that, well, the bottom spec is executed as correct as expected, right? I'm sorry. And as you can see over here, the fixtures demo spec is not executed because it has the sanity word instead of regression. And as you can see, there is no passing a, a, a test script, of course, because it wasn't executed. It is okay that it displays pending status. It is a kind of way of mocha reporter in order to let you know that it wasn't executed. It is a kind of a skipped, all right? And as you can see, of course, the last one also was executed, which was home sauce demo over here, which has regression and sanity. All right. And as you can see, that's how you can uh, filter the describes using this particular library 
by the described name okay that's amazing right i i like that however i want to also show you how to do this with tax all right let's go ahead and, and let's do it um it is gonna be practically the same stuff uh, but there is a variation that i want to explain you let me just check if i'm recording and i am and the variation over here is that instead of using grep we have to use grep tax okay that's the, the first change that we have to do and then um well the tag itself if i am not wrong doesn't require the string notation over here it is it is just it actually just need the at which is the standard and actually the recommended way to declare attack in this library and then for example i want to execute all the describes that has a tag sanity tag right in this case it should be fixtures and home source fixture over here right so let's go ahead and do it and execute this let's see if it works or not hopefully it works let me just take a, a, another cup of coffee over here buttons should shouldn't be executed there it is there are two pending scripts because it wasn't executed at all that's good and now the fixtures demo is working as expected because it has the sanity tag as we want right that's amazing and now the last one should also work and now we are learning how to filter both scenarios right using the describe name and also the uh, tag name that's amazing right so let's go ahead and continue with the last scenario that i want to show you Let's imagine that I want to execute only the describes that has both tags over here. I want to execute only if it matches the regression tag and sanity tag at the same time. In this case, only this spec well met that condition, right? So let's go ahead and do it with this library. In this case, I have to do a different thing. After I place the grep tags over here, I have to enter uh, this notation over here, right? now that i have this i have to enter a plus symbol and then specify the another tag that i want to make sure that is present or not in this case is sanity tag i'm sorry i did something wrong because the sanity tag was already in entered in this case is regression tag there it is and now if i execute this you are gonna see that it works as an end in case sanity tag and regression tag is present it is gonna be executed and at this time the buttons shouldn't be executed also the fixtures shouldn't be executed as you can see and the last one which met the condition is working as expected let me know if this is not great enough <laughs> i i deserve a subscribe and a like please all right <laughs> thank you very much um, and there it is basically as you can see that's the basic the basic demo that i wanted to show you sometimes you need this in order to execute a group of tests or a particular or a specific suite and as you can see here we have a lot of documentation i highly recommend you to check that because it is gonna will teach you and a lot more than what i have done thank you very much for watching the video this was young media and see you in the next one it was a pleasure bye bye masters